Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the Mike Check. Mike Check, is this thing on? How you guys doing today? Today is June fourth. It is eight in the morning. The rooster's crowing, waking us all up to the truth. What is the truth? We're finding out. This is a mass awakening, right? Let's dive deep. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get into it piece by piece. All right, guys. Now, first of all, I want to ask you to a thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, crypto mic, please. And thank you. All right. Uh, this is my channel. Okay. Uh, we do bearable guy stuff. We do chat. We do charts. Uh, we do what else? Other stuff. We do roosters. Yeah. We do roosters. Uh, we do Twitter. We do a lot of crypto Twitter. Okay. All right. So enough shameless self-promotion. Let's get into it. All right, guys. Uh, now, Bearable Guy has updated his picture. Um, so now he's closing his eyes. Okay. I believe since May is over now, I believe... May was a big month, okay, as uh, as we were waiting for before May happened, okay, we knew May was going to be a big month, and it was, and that just leads us to believe more that Bearable Guy is credible, okay, now, I don't know who he is, no one really knows yet, we don't know who he is, okay, we don't know who he is yet, but all right, he is credible. We know that he knew May was going to be a big month, and he knew it way far in advance. Okay, he he knew it um, like six months in advance, or uh, give or take a few months. I I forgot when that Christmas puzzle was put out in October, something like that. So maybe like six or seven months. I think it was in October, maybe November. So, anyways, he he put the calendar up before Christmas. Okay, in his Christmas puzzle. Um, here, I'll just pull it up since I have it saved right. Oh, I don't have it saved. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about, obviously. Anyone who's been following Bearable Guy knows that his Christmas puzzle is the most scrutinized puzzle of all. Um, and besides this one, this his background has been pretty scrutinized as well. Now, the sun here. All right. Now, the sun has 22 sunbeams coming out of it. 22. Remember that number, okay? One, um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, eight, nine. Five, eight, nine. All right, guys, and there's 22, okay? What does it mean? What does it mean? Also, Bearable Guy has 22 eyelashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. That's just the sound that his eyelashes make when they're, when they're sounding off. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 42. All right, guys. So what does 22 mean? Not sure yet. Not exactly sure yet. Okay. What does it all mean? Not exactly sure yet. All I know is that I'm still hodling. Okay. Um... Now, there are a ton of haters, guys. We already know that. Now, what does Bearable Guy tell us to do? In his background of this latest post, it says, keep calm and ignore negative people. And I totally agree with that. Okay? So, he's, he's just trying to calm us down. And he knows there's a ton of negative people out there. Yes, there are. Now... He put this up. Yes. What's the clue? We're still trying to figure it out, but 
this girl Sophia one two three she put up something it's kind of hard to read it's really hard to read I'm thinking maybe if I save it sometimes if you save it oh there we go cool so if I save that we're just real quick guys if I save it, it's I can go and read it. No, never mind. Can't can't save it. All right, so let's see if I can read that. Um, Golden State Warriors. This guy, by the way, uh, let's see. His name is Shaky Dave or <laughs> Shaggy B or I forgot. Swaggy P. Swaggy P. Um, he played on the Golden State Warriors. Okay. Golden State Warriors sponsor Rakuten Boy. Oh, Rakuten sponsors Golden State Warriors and it buys a crypto exchange. Um, everybody's Bitcoin. I don't know if that really has any significance to that. We'll figure it out. I'll let you know a little more once we figure that out. So yeah, that's his name is Swaggy P. Played on the Golden State Warriors. Okay. Um, now Golden State. Um, some people think basket, basketball, Golden State, Golden Basket, Comics Five Eight Nine. I don't know. Some people. Some people are kind of trying to piece that together. Um, as, as that, like a little um, clue, you know, I'm not sure about that. So we'll, we'll find out. We're going to look into it some more. Okay. Um, but as far as uh, the background, okay, I love, I love that. I really appreciate that. The cloud here, huh? You know, I am going to dive deeper into this because, okay. I should have saved that background. Okay, but the remember Think Taylor. Okay, I keep emphasizing that Microsoft Azure. These I think they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna announce a partnership with Microsoft. I'm probably the only one saying this. Okay, I think they're gonna announce a Microsoft partnership. Also, they um, retailers are gonna start accepting XRP pretty soon. Okay, just just know that. All right, guys. Um, the details will come out soon. All right. Um, but yeah. So I'll just look it up real quick. Bearable guy Christmas puzzle. I want to show you. I want to show you this because it's it's relevant. It is relevant. Click on the first one that we find. See, so think Taylor. Actually, we'll click on this one. Okay. Same thought bubble there. He uses the same one. Okay. Thinking out of the box, of course. That's that's a, okay. I, you guys, there are double meanings in a lot of what he's saying. Don't forget that it's easy to put double meanings or triple meanings into into a puzzle okay so right when it says uh, there's a thought bubble here and then there's swift of course the first thing that comes to mind is tail is uh is uh swift just swift because it's out in the open it says swift duh but we we already established okay i think i might i'm probably the only one who went and made the Microsoft connection. Okay. Windows Identity Foundation. Okay. Type it in. Go check it out. WIF. Windows Identity Foundation. Think. Swift. Yes. Now when you go onto Microsoft's website, they have a hashtag on their first thing. When, when you go to the STEM website, okay, which is the coloring book, all the proceeds, you guys, okay, the official coloring, Bitcoin coloring book, 
by Satoshi Nakamoto. By the way, there are other coloring books. There, there, there's other books out there on uh, Amazon, I found out, by Satoshi Nakamoto. But it's there's only two by this Satoshi Nakamoto, the new one. Okay, And I contacted the publisher, and they gave me a, quite a, a response. Uh, hmm, Storm Leaf, Leaf Storm publisher i believe it was leaf storm um no i'll, I'll just no i'm not gonna open my gmail in front of you guys yeah no I, there's there's there might be sensitive information in there um so anyways i contacted them and they um they told me they can neither confirm nor deny um what who it is you know i i asked who is it how what was the payment method how you know who how was it funded how you know where are the proceeds going i asked questions and they they told me well that it's all going to charity it's all going to stem um which is education you know an educational charity for for young kids um now microsoft has a has its hand in STEM. Um, Google has its hand in STEM. Amazon has its hand in STEM. They, they all are partners with STEM. Okay. Now, look right here. Down here, I think all the proceeds go to support STEM, an environmental education program serving underprivileged youth. Okay, so 100% of his author royalties. This isn't just some person who's looking to capitalize on people's interest in Bitcoin, you know. Um, okay. Now, you guys, I'm kind of, I, I do dive deep and I, I look into things a little differently than most of the, the the, the YouTubers out there, uh, which is probably why most of you like my channel. Uh, so I did type in, okay, funny thing is, look, look, they, on the, on the Wave and Ripple coloring book page, they recommend, it's just there. It, they didn't even say, like, we recommend this, or it's just there on the page. The Farmer's Son by John Connell, okay? And this is for the Wave and Ripple design book. All right, The Farmer's Son by John Connell. So what I did was I typed in John Connell. I typed in The Farmer's Son first and I found something and then I typed in John Connell and I'll tell you what I found here. Rising of the Phoenix. Rising of the Phoenix. Okay. Um, now I will also type in the farmer's son and tell you what I found. And you will see shortly the Phoenix. So both titles mean the Phoenix or Rising of the Phoenix. You think that's a mistake? And why would they recommend that book? <laughs> do, do you get it? Do you get it? They're using Gematria. Okay. Now, this is something that I'm, I typed in 1037, the price of, uh, first of all, let's go to 917. Okay. And I'll, this is almost proof right here. The, this is for the official Bitcoin coloring book. Okay, you guys. Now, I believe, I know I'm jumping around a little, but the, we're piecing the puzzle together. Okay, that's why you guys like my channel. Okay, I believe Bearable Guy might be saying with his closed eyes, he is satisfied. Okay, this is, you know, he told us what was going to happen. A lot of shit was going to happen. Excuse my French. Um, a lot of things were going to happen in May, and they did. All this stuff, okay, and he's showing off now. He's like, yeah, see, I told you. All this stuff did happen, and it furthers the advancement of, uh, you know, the, the future utilization of our beloved 
XRP. Okay, uh, now he's gonna he's gonna close his eyes. Now maybe that means he okay because he had the eyes open, eyes open. Okay, now he's gonna close his eyes. What does that mean? Maybe he's gonna go quiet because his his mouth is closed too. Maybe he's gonna like take a rest for a little while. But now we found. You know, we found similarities between him, his riddles, and the coloring book. I think the coloring book is has been put out by the same people that are behind Barrel Guy. And I, I think it's not just one person. I think it's people. I think Ripple is behind this. I don't think that they would let, let this happen. Of course, they're, they're, they would deny it, you know. They're not going to. They're gonna deny it, of course. If anyone tries to put a um, ties between them, they can't just be like, "Yeah, that's us." Yup. They can't do that, you know, because of course that that would like totally. He's predicting things. He's telling us things. He's giving us hints. They can't do that. They have they're under tight control, okay, with their non disclosure agreements with governments. You know, the IMF. They're all in cahoots. Okay. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, so, well, what I was saying was the Bitcoin coloring book now is probably the next step, you guys. We need to examine this. Okay. They've buried, they've buried tons of clues, tons of clues already. And we're going to keep seeing things come out. Okay. They've done reviews here. Okay. We've already kind of started. Now, JP Morgan, you guys, let's keep a close eye on JP Morgan, guys. Okay? I have a feeling, okay, they are under investigation, by the way, for manipulating the prices of silver and other things, too. But LaFraud, I've looked it up. I can't find anything. There's no LaFraud. It's a made up word. It's a made up word. Um,. I think I did type it in, but I forgot what I if I found anything or not. Lafrod, let me just check it out right now with you guys. Um, let's see if we find anything. But I, but what does it mean? The fraud, le fraud, in, in French. But basically, what what is le the and what is fraud? Fraud. So he, what what are they saying? He's a fraud. Okay, they're just calling him a fraud. But they're also incriminating him, basically, in the description here. But what I think is they're they're saying he's he's been involved in uh, some dirty things. I can't say for sure, but that's what it sounds like. And so to me, it sounds like this is a little more cryptic than we might think, guys. A little more cryptic than we might think. There's nothing I enjoy enjoy better than lounging in my because it sounds like kind of creepy and weird there's nothing i enjoy better than lounging in my silk robe with a tumbler of 18 year old la fraud single malt and the official bitcoin coloring book i do the actually work coloring work of course while my young <clears throat> assistant keeps a disciplined eye on my progress she makes darn sure I stay well with them in the lines. And does she ever? I have the welts to prove it. It's just weird. All right. Anyways, uh, let's see what LaFraud came out as. Curse, Sugar, Kate Middleton, um, Nephilim, Prince, Burning. Anything of significance to us? I don't know. If anything stands out there, um, go into the comment section and type it in. And we'll dig, we'll dig into it a little. I don't really see anything that really just shines, you know, that stands out too much. Financial collapse, maybe. I don't know. So, okay. So, um, anyways, but I think it means just what it means. The fraud. I think they're calling him a fraud in that, in the description there. All right. And this one, I, I think this one is talking about. Elon Musk. I think Elon Musk, I think I think XRP and Ripple have a lot going on that we don't even know about yet. 
and but they're letting us know a lot but there's also a ton in the big things that they're letting us know the big things but i think there's even bigger things going on in the background guys all right so anyways now isn't that isn't that cool though isn't that cool that the suggested book when you type in this name this means the phoenix in gematria and then when you type in this it means the rising of the phoenix and it's a ripple design book i mean wouldn't isn't that interesting now wave i'm still not certain if they if they mean wave like as in wave waves i'm not sure it's hard to tell okay but the reason i think this might be this is tied to ripple and the ripple riddler and the ripple riddler might know he might it might be the same person which i think the ripple riddler is behind is with in cahoots with barrel guy is because of the the um the matrix style background of satoshi Naka, nakamoto okay all right so i told you there's a lot of stuff you guys a lot of stuff um no I've already think I've told you guys this. Hopefully, I'm not sure who's seen this or not, but this is David Schwartz's um, Twitter. Okay. Oh, I like his background. Is that he changed it, huh? Above the clouds, dude. You guys, I didn't even notice this, but above the clouds, in the cloud, in the clouds, guys in the cloud you guys they're trying to tell us something about cloud computing cloud ai cloud storage um something big is going on in the background i think with google cloud okay the other day google cloud was out did you guys know that oh wow i just typed that in. i just said that and then my google cloud opened Opened up and opened up an okay. Uh, let's go. All right. So, you guys, this is interesting. Okay, tell me what you think it means. Okay, but I think Microsoft Azure Cloud. I think Google Cloud was out the other day. Let's see if it opens up again. Nope. All right. It was out the other day. I couldn't upload my YouTube live stream. Um, YouTube was out. Google was out. Instagram was out in, in certain parts, uh, just not, not completely, but certain parts of the country were hit even more, mostly the, the Eastern U S but over here in uh, Los Angeles, we had, we had outages too. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? David Schwartz, he is cryptic as well, guys. He's been speaking to us cryptically as well. Okay. Um, I'm telling you, I'll show you one, one quick thing. He, he types in, he put a tweet out in on May 15th. Is this sign decades out of date or is the Sony Walkman still a thing? So he puts out tweets like randomly. These are so random, but why would he tweet about Sony Walkman? Okay. He, Cause he doesn't tweet that often. He knows tons of people are watching his Twitter. Okay. We're going to copy that. I want to show you what I found. It's, it's pretty interesting, but this is before the main thing. That's really interesting. Sony Walkman, what comes up? Spiritual awakening, president Donald J. Trump. Okay. He's been uh, emphasizing Donald Trump in a lot of his cryptic tweets. Now, Joe and the juice. What does that mean? What, what number can we find from that? Can we get a good a number that is significant out of this? Joe and the juice. What can we find? All 
No, you know what? It's on the other one. It's on the English Ordinal, uh, the other website I was on, the other Jamaica, um, the Jamatronator website. But it comes out to 58. 58. See if anything. I'll just show you real quick. Okay. 58. See? Full reduction is 58. Okay. Now. Type in XRP. Let me find 58. Okay. Now. So if Joe and the Juice equals 58. We can put a 58 right here. And there's only, then there would be three numbers in this, 58, 9, 5, 8, 9. All right. So, you guys, he's cryptic, okay? And three strikes, you're out. I believe that means something, too. Let's see. Let's see what that means. Something significant, guys. What does it mean? I, no, that's not it. Donald Trump. Maybe, maybe this one doesn't mean anything. Anyways, you guys, um, now this one, I don't think this one means anything. Or it does, Mike, who knows? It's, it's tough to find out exactly what it means. All right, so, but when we type in 917 on the official Bitcoin coloring book, uh, that comes out to something significant. 917. Yeshua Bitcoin and Awake, but most notably Yeshua Bitcoin. <clears throat> what is Yeshua? What's the definite defu definition of Yeshua? We'll find out right now. Yeshua. What does Yeshua mean? Deliver, Savior. So they're saying that Bitcoin is the Savior of humanity as far as financially and monetary, economically. Okay, it's going to be our savior. So, I mean, yeah, I would totally hold some Bitcoin. If you don't have any Bitcoin, you probably have some Bitcoin. Okay, as well as XRP. All right, because you've seen the you've seen the puzzles, you know. If we can give credence to Bearable Guy, then he, he tells us that the U.S. dollar, Bitcoin and XRP will prevail. Okay. Um, now Sophia, she did go over Barrel Guy's background and she put out links to the G20 summit, um, and also something about Egypt loosening laws on trading crypto. Um, but I can't find, I think she must have deleted her tweet, so I can't find it. And, um, uh, I just, I honestly don't have the time to go and, um, decipher which one it was that had, uh, the G20 and it was like a G20. It was like a Japanese, I'm not going to try to find it, but it's a jet, a Japan and America meeting G20, uh, meeting and it, it sounded pretty good. So I, you know, I, I, I wasn't able to go into it and then she deleted it. So Sophia, I don't know if you watch this or not, but shoot me, um, shoot me that, that link. I mean, I'll, I'm going to message her after this video and I'll ask her if she can shoot me the links. All right. So yeah, so he is saying something for sure. Okay. Um, saying something for sure along the lines of 
clouds okay now yeah I did want to also point out 58 XRP 9 plus okay I think you guys probably sick of me saying that but okay I also found this same kind of thing has been happening guys okay May of 2019 this is where we're at right here so we keep seeing the same thing happen before a big bull run April March April do 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 okay December of 2017 so these, the same pattern happened as what's happening right now uh, in December in 17 and it happened three separate times and every time it happened it was a big big leg up so before the burst okay so we are at this stage right here so we should be seeing this again if history repeats itself we should be seeing a burst up probably a little bit down Another big burst up, another, just like December 17. Hopefully we get like three bull runs this year, you guys. That would be amazing. All right, guys. Um, now, um, I wanted to bring this up. Yes, the, the Phoenix. I do believe this might be related. The Phoenix will rise. It says the Phoenix will rise, you guys. <sighs> June 7th, this comes out, okay, which also happens to be my birthday, so I'm pretty excited about that. Dark Phoenix with an X around it, okay, Phoenix, Phoenix coin, XRP, okay. Um, now, someone else, someone reached out to me in my comment section and, um, offered some advice on uh, technical analysis basically it said I wasn't doing it right and I admit the last video I made it, it probably wasn't the best technical analysis so I'm gonna just show you I, I improvised I'm not improvised I improved it I just simplified it took some lines away and I made it very like better I just made it better okay so that's much better all right it's hard to argue with that. Okay, that's definitely a bull pennant. Okay, that's the first leg up we see. And here we go. We're off. As long as we don't break south of this, we're good. All right. This is the XRP Bitcoin chart. We're looking good, you guys. We're looking good. Now, this ends in a few days. June 6th. Okay. I think we're going to see a blast off. Especially if that COMEX rule goes into effect, you know. June 5th, it goes into effect. June 6th, we're going to see a, a different settlement on um, price. Hopefully, it, hopefully that really happens. We'll see. All right. All right, you guys. So uh, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, I was listening to this song. I'm going to leave you with this, the lyrics to this song. They kind of remind me of what we're looking for. So they're talking about a guy looking for gold on the on the beach, and that kind of feels like how we are, how we feel in the XRP community. We're just looking for that big price rise.
All right, so the the one that really got to me and uh, is this one. Until that solid gold is in your hand, you won't be happy. Now, remember, you guys, we we own XRP. We own it. Okay, we have our private keys. We, we have it on our Ledger Nanos. All right. Now, or we have it on our treasures or whatever. We have it in cold storage. All right. We own it. Now, it's in our hands already. Okay. The, just the rest of the world doesn't doesn't know the value of it yet. Okay. But it is extremely valuable right now. They just don't know it yet. Okay. Now, in a few years, the rest of the world will be privy to it. Okay. The bankers will... They'll let the value rise, you know, they'll, they'll use COMEX 589 and they'll, they'll rise it to a certain place, you know, and they'll, they'll put it in that place and keep it there. And then they'll, they'll keep rising it incrementally, you know, periodically. They'll, they'll just boost it to another place and then they'll keep it there. They'll lock it in place. All right, guys. So have strong hands. Okay. And just, just be happy, okay? Be happy with what you have. Just know you have something that's very valuable, okay? Just just imagine that you have a bunch of gold, all right? And no one knows it but you, okay? Just imagine you have a, a huge bar of gold. No one knows it but you, all right? And you're just not going to cash in yet because the value of it isn't isn't high yet. But it's gold. It's gold. Our XRP is gold, you guys. Okay? Just imagine, just think about your XRP like gold. And don't sell too low. Okay? Don't ever sell too low. All right? Because it's gold. All right, you guys. Um, all right, you guys. Well, you guys have a great day. I appreciate you being here for my video. Now, go in the comment section. Shoot me some of your crazy theories. Okay? And please, please. I've been getting a lot of negative comments in my comment section i i get it i understand you know there's a lot of skeptics out there especially because the price hasn't risen you know like we've been thinking it was gonna rise in may um you know a lot of people are throwing negative neg negative comments in there um that's great you know but but just at least make them at least throw in some constructive criticism Okay, like, um, what's that guy's name? The guy who told me about the TA. He said, hey, you know, I appreciate your work, but your the TA wasn't very good. So he, he gave me constructive criticism, and I appreciate that. So as long as you can keep it, like, on a good note, you know, that's good. But if you're just throwing negative comments there, why even put them there in the first place? Why even watch the video? Like, don't, just don't watch a, don't watch a video, okay? Don't watch a prediction video. Don't watch these kind of videos if you're just going to throw negativity out, out there, all right? Or go make your own videos or something, okay? It's not as easy as you think, all right? Um, so, all right, you guys, take a, take a moment to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell. Crypto Mike is my name. Cryptocurrency is my game. Be good people. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next one. Like.